straight out to John DiPietro, WPRO. John, thanks for being with us. I don't get it. What does this guy have? I mean, I know he's a, a high-powered lawyer. He makes a lot of money. There's the mistress. Oh, yeah, she's crying now. But according to police, she wasn't crying when she took out not one, not two, but three hits on her lover's wife. Now, she says hubby helped her. But what can you tell me now, John, about the mistress taking out a hit from behind bars on the lawyer husband? Nancy, as if this case couldn't get any stranger, authorities are wondering, was this a prison plot? Allegedly, she was trying to entice another inmate, the promise of $20,000 a four-page detail letter trying to have the inmate kill her lover and possibly make it seem like it was the wife that did it. This was a very detailed jailhouse letter. And Nancy, if it's true, it was a prison plot. She will not relent on going after and trying to kill even from behind bars. Okay, right there, right off the top, John. The facts are crazy and don't make sense because if she's trying to get another female inmate to perform a hit, why is she mailing her a letter? She could just yell it down the cell block. She could meet her in the cafeteria. Why would she mail a letter to a female inmate? I, I don't get it. And also, a lot of this is apparently this last hit she orders on the man she cheated with, the husband, the lawyer, uh, on the phone. But... I mean, has nobody learned? Didn't anybody watch the top mom coverage? They're taping your calls behind bars, John. Hello? Nancy, apparently in the letter, it was very detailed about his comings and goings, uh, more details about his life. So she felt she needed more information to provide to the alleged killer. Okay, you know what? Let's take it from the top. John, I I'm usually on your side, but just then you didn't answer a single question I threw at you. I'm going to give Aaron Smith a chance. Anchor, K-T-R-H. All right, Aaron, why would the inmate, the female lover, who apparently is claiming this lawyer was into all kind of deviant sexual practices, now who would imagine that from a high-powered, well-respected lawyer? Uh, me. Long story short, uh, in addition to all these crazy deviant sex practices she's claiming on Jeffrey Stern, she's saying, A, that he helped order all three hits on his wife, and now she wants him dead. But if she wanted a female inmate to kill him, why would she send her a letter, Aaron? Nancy Grace, that's, a, that's an absolute wonderful question. You said it right. This guy is a very prominent lawyer in the city of Houston on one of the richest sides of town. Uh, you know, it, already accused of trying to have his wife killed. Now this mistress turns the table on him, and of all people, she asked an inmate in the jail to try and have him killed. It's absolutely unbelievable. This was a bombshell yesterday. Well, another thing, Aaron Smith, KTRH, he may be rich and high-powered, but uh, according to this woman, he still wanted to play spank me, spank me. All right, that's neither here nor there, but the jury will certainly enjoy hearing about that.